Hi everyone, I'm Senior Product Manager Noxer. And I'm Associate Product Manager Smarcer. Welcome to 2018! Welcome to 2018! Oh, you want to do that together? I don't One, know. One, two, three. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to 2018! 2018. <laughs> we did it! Yeah! Today we're going to look back at Critica Online's 2017 and talk a little bit more about what we've got planned in the first part of 2018. 2017 was when Critica Online released. Yeah, so we had a few good milestones. Yeah. We'll talk a little about it. Yeah. So Critica Online did release in 2017, and we'd like to send a huge thank you to the community for playing and for all the feedback along the way. You were instrumental in the success, and we could not have done this without you. Yes, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, so much happened in 2017. Uh, we raised the stakes by introducing the Shattered Table. Mm. It's the most difficult content in the game at the time. Not people are blown like through so it, difficult but. that we were having reservations about demoing it at PAX West. Yeah, we were a little worried, but we're scrub. We're like, we just because we're we're scrubs, we're scrubs. We needed more power. We just we need needed more, more power. power. We had to keep yeah. going back to the boat. We need more power. How can we increase our power levels? <laughs> One of our biggest goals starting out with Critica Online was to put a focus on the community and try to be as transparent as possible. Two crucial parts of this were the introduction of the development roadmap to give players, you guys, an expectation of what's coming up in future updates, mm -hmm. and also the creation of the player council as representatives of the community. Yes, big thanks to the player council. Yes, you guys were a huge part of our success in 2017. Mm -hmm. And due to popular request, we launched the public test server so that players can get a preview of the next update, help us locate potential bugs, and give us their thoughts before the update hits the live servers. This was super helpful, not only for our internal processes and making things a little bit smoother, uh, but also helps you guys get to know what's coming out a little bit closer. Right. Uh, also in 2017, players helped us decide on a name for a new mode. Mm. We voted. <laughs> yes! Fractured Memories! We came up with a few names internally, put it to a vote, and then live on stream, made decision. our decision. Yeah. I liked Blue Goo Lagoon. That came up. That was suggested midstream, but uh, yeah. Well. Not only that, but this year we launched our first class, the Scion, as well as coming out on Steam and officially launched Criticus. We went from closed beta, open beta, to Steam and full launch, and the Scion, all in the span of like three to four months. Yes. And that's all like the first three or four months I started working back here at Invest actually yeah. too. So you weren't busy at all. No. You were asleep under Was there your a desk summer? a lot of the time. Was there a summer? Yeah. <laughs> but... That's all cool, good stuff that happened in 2017. I want to hear about bad, horrible stuff, bad, officer. I don't know about that horrible stuff. There's a, the worst stuff. No, let's let's call them opportunities for improvements. Opportunities for growth, <laughs> yeah. So the first few runs of the PTS didn't give us enough time. I think we gave it to you on like a Tuesday with the launch the next Tuesday. And for a developer yeah. to iterate a build, send that back to us, get us tested, integrated, just wasn't enough time. December PTS, we got better. Mm -hmm. We had a little bit more time but we didn't get as many of the changes in as we hope, right. hoped for. And so we're gonna keep working on it. And it's important to know that even though you're giving us that feedback earlier, those two weeks give developers runway and time to get things moving down the pipeline. So you may not see it immediately, but it's there, it's coming, and it helps us get ahead. Yeah, we're still discussing on some of the changes that were suggested. Absolutely. They'll be Absolutely. implemented later on. And the other thing we weren't super happy with was kind of our content gap between our version and other versions of Critic Online. Especially for you core players that have been playing this game in other territories, we're excited to come here. Uh, you know, we kind of had a little bit of a vanilla version. Uh, so we had lots of Scion Win questions, you know, that were mm -hmm. constantly coming at us across the board. Yep. And the day Scion came out, uh, everything changed and all the Scion Wins became Monk Wins. It was oh. the first comment I, I saw. Think. Yeah. The first comment. And so we're gonna do better with that. We're trying to narrow the gap. We're working hard with all them right. on making sure. And I think the first few updates you're gonna see this year are actually gonna address some of that stuff. Uh, yeah, at launch we felt it was necessary to start with the four base classes, uh, just to get the game out there, get it available to fans, um, get all the localization, all the skill names right. But we do realize how important it is to get the latest content out there to players so that you can play it as soon as possible. As mentioned, this is our biggest goal of 2018, reduce the gap between us and the other versions of Critica Online. So our first step forward to that is the V100 version. It comes out later this month, um, and it brings with it the imprint system, also something talked about since day one, yes. um, which is a new in-game system that lets you drastically change your skills and customize your characters in new and exciting ways. Yep. Uh, a whole bunch of classes, every class, yeah. will be completely changed by the addition of imprints. Every class is key, right? Yes. Uh, when imprints were originally released, uh, they were released a few at a time, over months. 
Uh, we're going to blow the current class rankings out of the water and release all the imprints for every class all at once. Making them, making them rain. <laughs> imprints for everyone. Imprints. And that's just one of the things coming in V100. Uh, so, with that in mind, we want to reveal something else that's coming in V100 today. Oh, is that what this big weird box is that's been off, off camera? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what's in this box. Mm, very tricky. 